Hello YouTube, and welcome back to some more tribute. Oh god. Alright. Well, I want to use the counter on Sai. We need power. So we can turn that thing. So, why not just brick us early too and give us no early economy and give us... Oh man, if they would have picked for me, that would have been so funny. Four power cards. And look at that, we get to go second and five gold. Cool. What are the odds? Uh, uh, uh. And we're not going to be able to do anything with it. Cool. Rough freaking start, man. I mean, I guess we could double shred. Right. Really? You didn't want to turn on Sai? You want to get rid of something? They want to get rid of a bonfire or something? Okay, that was really dumb on their part, in my opinion. Because you just opened up the board for me to get a card that's, like, actually helpful. So, I am... 300% cool with that. Um, I think they're going to get two power this turn. That's a power card, I'm pretty sure. Do they not know that Onsai gives them gold? They picked it. They might not know that Onsai gives them a gold every time it's turned towards them, so... We'll see, I guess. Interesting games when you're climbing back to Rubidite. When you get back to Rubidite, you know, some people might miss a few plays every now and then, but for the most part, uh, people know what they're doing. So... Are they just not going to buy a bonfire? Bonfire? Okay. I'm, I'm so confused. Um, okay, so... What do we want to do here? I could just acquire this. And we can just get rid of that. And then I could acquire that. And we can just get rid of that. And then I could turn red into that. I know we have this red combo, but I really don't care about that one gold combo too. I care more about the strength of cards. Um... And right now, we've got 10 cards, exactly what we started with, but we've got a little bit of power, we've got two two gold cards, so... Uh, we'll see how things turn out for us here. They definitely do not know about the green patron. And that's okay, because that was 100% me. We'll just do that. Get up a little bit on power here. They have to combo red to get any real value out of that. They can get house marketplace though, which would be a huge advancement for them. That's actually kind of scary. Let's see if they know how to use it. But this, what they sell? Let's see what they sold. All right, so we can get three power, or we could acquire something up to the tavern for four. Which, I think we'll do that, to be honest with you. Because then I can do this, do that, and then we can do this, and we can destroy up to two cards. And now our deck is still staying small. Gonna get six gold next turn. Really surprised I didn't go after that reinforcements. I guess we'll go after it. Because that could be good for us. Um, let's just get our economy up. Let's get rid of that black card. This will help us buy more expensive cards quicker. Get a red card. That'd be awesome. Let's go. Get a 1 in 6 chance to get that red card. That means we'll get 8 gold next turn. Stacked our hands very nicely there. I think they might have just figured it out. They might have just read that. So. 
Uh, acquire more. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Or refresh. That's pretty strong. Pretty strong. Um, I think we'll do that. Do that. Let's get some more power going here. And we'll just take off the power, so. Go up to 19.10 here. We're going to have 8 gold next turn. Let's see what they come up with here. Um, not a bad hand. Interesting hand, but not terrible. Uh, they're going to get a lot of gold. Lots of gold. Look at them. They also get two patron turns. They could just sell both those and go really far ahead right now and just refill with like nice cards. Everybody likes to hold on to cards. If they just didn't hold on to the cards here, they could probably do a pretty good job of beating me. I think I kind of shot myself in the foot early on there by getting rid of some of stuff, but I think we'll be able to stay ahead. They two coined. They two coined twice. Interesting. They really value money. They do not have like any cards to really do any damage to us. That was a interesting way to use that gold. Uh, we'll take that. Synergize as well with us. At this point, we can honestly just sell the red cards. You know, they they kind of have to combo to do anything of major value, but. I guess we could keep them. Hmm. I'm surprised they're just leaving this power here. Um. Well, I got rid of their black card, so. Well, they're gonna do it now, I guess. Acquire a card. I mean, we're just gonna go all power. cost card as well and we'll just go 43 to 12. No point holding on to cards guys if you can make plays with them. Look at all this power we still have. It's fine. We don't need it. And now it's just impossible for them to win. Probably buy that draw card. But it might be too late for them. Might be too late my friend. Oh, they got a power. Maybe they're going to come back. We'll see. Oh, GG, Rosie. All right. This is a great way to abuse Halalu. I think Halalu might just be the most broken in the game it doesn't matter what people bring what they throw at you you can sell stuff and get rid of it you can use your excess gold to buy stuff that you can sell into power later i just feel like it's the best all around like you don't know what to pick just pick lalu pick lalu and you always have access to that type of gameplay that you normally wouldn't so all right guys if you're enjoying these tales of tribute videos be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one take care